Hello and welcome. My name is Dylan and today we're going to be talking about Umbral Engrams. But more specifically than that, we're going to be talking about how you can open or focus Umbral Engrams in Season 19. So basically, what do you use Umbral Engrams for and why does everybody want them so badly? So if we look at an Umbral Engram in the inventory, we have only one option and that is to discard it. So if you find yourself at a point where you no longer care about Umbral Engrams in a given season or whatever the case may be, you can simply go through and discard these at any time that you would like. So if you don't want to discard your Engrams, if you want to use them, the base action that you can use an Umbral Engram for is to come to the tower and go see the Cryptarch. Over here to the right, his name is Master Raul. So we go in here into his inventory, and just like we see prime engrams here, where we can just decrypt the prime engram and get a random piece of gear, I can also do the same thing with an umbral engram here. So I can go through, I can decrypt it, and I got a random helmet. If you choose to open up your umbral engrams here, then it will give you a random reward from the world loot pool. So that is both weapons and armor. Now, if you want to use your Umbral Engrams for more specific rewards, so whether you've paid for the current season, previous seasons, or whether you're just a free player and you haven't bought anything, you can actually go to Destinations, go to the Helm, and then we're just going to travel to the fast travel points here in the Helm. So I'm going to cover the Season 19 stuff first, and then I will cover at the end of the video all of the other places you can go to. Let's go right to the right down this staircase over here to the side to the exo frame if you have not completed the hierarchy mission then i don't think that you can access the exo frame i will link to a video on screen now in the top right hand corner of how you can find the hierarchy mission if you have not yet completed it so when we look in the menu for the exo frame we'll see that there are no Ingram options on this first page. But if we go to the second page over here, then we see that there are specific Ingram options and there are also specific weapon and armor options that you can go through and use. Now, it should very quickly be noted that for players who have not purchased the current season, so season 19 or season of the Seraph, you will only have two options here. But although this might be a little bit annoying, it's actually really good because instead of opening Umbral Engrams over at Master Raul, where you would receive a random armor or weapon from the world loot pool, here you can specifically target if you want worldly armor or worldly weapons. So that cuts your loot pool in half and you have a much higher chance to get the items that you are after. There are actually, I believe, a couple more free-to-play options, but I will cover those at the end of the video as they're not available in the EXO frame. So if we look at the paid options, if you own the Season Pass or if you own the Season of the Seraph, we have this option here for the Ikelos weapons. So you can focus specifically for one of these four Ikelos weapons. We go over here on the left, you can focus specifically for Serific weapons. So all of these weapons here. These are the only things that you can get from the Umbral Engrams when you focus them. And for both of these options, they do have an opportunity to drop Red Bar Weapons or Deep Sight Resonance Weapons so that you can get the patterns for these seasonal weapons. And when we look down at the bottom here, you can get the specific armor for the season. And you can also focus for high stat armor. Now, you can focus for each specific weapon itself, costing one Umbral and other various resources as well, for both the Iklos weapons and the Season of the Seraph weapons. But for those, we'll need to go back to the first page, and we'll need to go to this upgrade section. So in this upgrade section, the first, if we look at focusing upgrades, the first three options here will unlock, this unlocks high stat armor rolls, this unlocks the Ikelos weapon focusing, and this one here unlocks the Season of the Seraph weapon focusing. So this is why everybody wants Umbral Engram so badly, because you can focus for the specific weapons for the Season and, and for Ikelos, and this will allow you to get the Deep Sight Resonance weapons and get the weapon patterns. 
So this is everything you can do with Umbral Engrams and why they are important in Season 19 or Season of the Seraph. But if we look back to previous seasons, so we can look at the last season here, which this is the hub for the last season, the star chart. We can see that we have some basic options here. So we have worldly armor and we have very specific types of weapons here that we can go through and focus. I believe that these are available for everyone as they are basic spoils. So... This isn't anything crazy, but this allows you to, instead of just having the entire world loot pool as a free-to-play player or someone who doesn't own the current season, you can come in here and you can choose the worldly armor. Again, the only reason you would choose worldly armor, by the way, it doesn't have high stat rolls. The only reason you would choose it is for transmog purposes. So to be able to get like a base piece of armor and then to be able to put that ornament on a new piece of armor because all of the rolls here are kind of garbage. But if we look here, we can go from all of the weapons in the world loot pool to specific weapon archetypes here. So we can actually choose weapons with specific traits, and that means there's only five or six weapons for each of these different options, so that cuts it down even more. And if you own this season of plunder, then you have these options here for the armor of plunder, and you also have the weapons of plunder, and you can go through and get red bars for these weapons. We have another option here for the war table in the season of, I honestly forget the name, but we can open this up here. And if we go on the second page, then we see that we have worldly armor, we have arsenal of the dreaming city, and we have tools of the risen. Now, I believe if you're a free to play player, you only have these first two. So worldly armor again, I, I think they all have worldly armor. And then this, you know, you could get specific dreaming city weapons if you used your umbrals here. Now, if you owned the season of the risen, then you could go through and get the tools of the risen, which I believe includes everything. So armor and weapons, or you could go through here, get the specific armor pieces with high stat rolls, or you could go through and get the red bar weapons here, for the specific season of the risen weapons lastly if we go to the start here and turn to the left and follow this all the way along we get to the hub here called crown of sorrow which is for the season of the haunted so if we look on this first page here we don't have any options but if we go to the right again we have worldly armor and worldly weapons for the free to play players and then for the people who owned the season of the haunted you can go through here and focus for uh, opulence weapons. So you can go through and get the red bars to collect the patterns for those. And then we have the season of the haunted focused weapons. So we can go through here and grab just the general ones. So have all of these in it, or you can choose the specific ones. And if we go to the third page here, we see the same option for armor as the other sections. So overall, the best options for free to play players is to narrow it down to specifically armor or weapons or to go to the star chart here and see if you can focus for the specific weapon archetypes or the weapon foundries with these specific perks and that narrows it down even further. And then if you are a paid player who owns the season of the Seraph or one of the previous seasons, you can go to those specific sections, those specific hubs within the helm itself. So if we open up our map here, we see that we have the Crown of Sorrow that we just went to to the left. We have the Exo Frame over to the right. The first one in front of us here is the Star Chart. And all the way at the front, we have the War Table for the Season of the Risen. So anyways, guys, that is everything I could think of for focusing or opening Umbral Engrams, why they are important, and what you should use Umbral Engrams for in Season 19 or Season of the Seraph for Destiny 2. I hope this video helped. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody.